everybody welcome back to talk that talk so we have a ton of things to talk about because the girls were going crazy on twitter all right but we are going to start off with jt so jt actually went to twitter and she was talking about the fnf remix as you guys know we've talked about this several times now glorilla put out an fnf remix sweetie was supposed to be on the remix she ended up not being on it and we got jt and lotto on the remix so jt went to twitter and she addressed that djs need to stop playing sweetie's verse of the fnf remix so she said this dj in texas intentionally played sweetie's verse and kept saying jt boy if you don't get your delusional ba on she said y'all in this industry are catty and weird all right not y'all sending sending sweetie's verse to djs that's crazy and delusional and not that um mf serious so she was going to twitter talking about this and she basically also said that you know sweetie's not on the song don't play in my face i love her she's nice but it's messy and uncalled for because people was asking jt like well what's the issue with sweetie's verse being played and they basically asked like do you want to be the only one in the spotlight and she's like sweetie's not on the song so they shouldn't be playing her verse it's uncalled for and it's messy so what do you guys think about that whole situation now let's move on to cardi b and little kim so there was a video snippet that dropped on social media that showed cardi b and little kim in the studio with swiss beats and some other people so what do you guys think they have coming up next so i was surprised i was very surprised so i was like oh okay all right, Little Kim just did the Plan B remix that kind of pretty much got went left a little bit. And now she's in the studio with Cardi B. And we are getting a lot, a lot of drama playing out on Twitter. Nicki Minaj is not holding back, you know. She is saying a lot of stuff, which we are going to get into. So what do you think Cardi B and Little Kim have cooking up? And once this video clip you know came out and they saw cardi b and little kim in the studio fans were joking around about how remy ma and missy elliott probably going to team up and come through to the studio with cardi b and little kim i thought that was hilarious i thought that was hilarious like the fans and the haters be funny sometimes twitter was a whole mess this weekend all right so let's move on to Nicki minaj so Nicki minaj took to twitter she had a lot to say on twitter she had a lot to say on her um on her radio show that she does and she basically says that the most dangerous thing you can do is pick the wrong side she said she's been running the game for 15 years after giants and machines use lab rats to try to take her down and that she had papa bear and got back in the game because she doesn't need to wait for ghost writers to finish getting the pp you know what also said that after the super freaky girl remix came out people were talking in their group chats and asking bloggers to say mean things about them and she also noticed like who didn't post about the new remix song coming out and stuff like that and who's only posting about the drama that's happening behind the scenes so a lot of people noticed that other rap girls just got a lot to say on twitter right now I mean, Coyla Ray tweeted, be careful from fake smiles. Industry so weird. Only if y'all know the half. Yuck. Anyways, fly-ish out now. So we also got to see that Nicki Minaj liked the tweet in regards to Coyla Ray. And that tweet said, when Koi had nobody and the internet was eating her up, Nicki reached out as a human being to show genuine love and care. So sad she didn't remember that. What do you guys think is going on with Coyla Ray? and Nicki Minaj. Also, we had Lakia come on Twitter and she said, it's such a thin line between being supportive and D-I-C-K eating. And then says, I could have cleared this ish up, but I don't argue with obsessed stand pages. Y'all gotta stop playing my top like you don't see the multiple times I support anybody and everybody. All right, so Lakia had a lot to say about this as well. You know, it was also shown that, you know, she did show support for the remix and everybody who was on it. And she um, cleared the air that she wasn't on the song because I guess a lot of female rappers, I saw that, um, I guess a lot of female rappers were being asked. I guess a lot of female rappers were being asked if they were on the remix because I did see some female rappers say, no, I'm not on the song, you know, looking forward to hearing about it or whatever. I did see that happen on Twitter. But Nikki liked the tweet that said, how do you fix your mouth? to tell someone else how happy excited or grateful to be for their moment you have a nasty spirit instead of congratulating and grinding to perfect your craft 
you dictating how others voice their support for an opportunity they receive, log off and get right. And this tweet was directed to Lakia. So there is a lot going on on Twitter right now with the girls. All right, there is a lot going on with this whole Super Freaky Girl remix and the girls that were chosen to be on the song. You know, apparently people are saying Nikki only chose girls who actually congratulated her for going number one with Super Freaky Girl to be on the song. Then we also have to talk about Asian Doll because Asian Doll uh, was tweeting and she said, Siding with bees who had plans to end you is crazy. Now... I think a lot of people are assuming that this is about the Super Freaky Girl remix song. And I think some people are making some pretty okay arguments. But at the end of the day, we really don't know exactly what everybody's talking about. We're just trying to put together the situation and try to connect some dots if there are any dots to be connected. Okay. But we're going to talk about um, Asian Doll tomorrow because there is some there was some stuff going on with Asian Doll and Malibu Mitch on Twitter. But we're going to talk about that tomorrow. I want to talk about Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj because fans were addressing Megan for not responding yet to the subliminals that people think are being thrown at her by Nikki and says that you know and says that basically well like Nikki you need to respond but also there's also fans of Megan that saying well she wasn't at it on anything like there was there wasn't no at Megan the Stallion you know you're begging for sympathy from the media like there there wasn't like her name wasn't dropped so there's fans that want her to respond and then there's fans that are saying well she wasn't at it so what is she responding to you know so we also know that Megan was booked and busy performing at uh, Rock and Rio. So Megan was busy, but she did take a little time to hop on Twitter because I was looking to see if she was going to say anything at all because people clearly think that Megan is um, being subbed. So they added, uh, this person added Megan the Stallion and said, Nicki Minaj is accusing you of encouraging abortion and child endangerment with alcohol. This isn't something to stay quiet on. And somebody said she didn't say a name. That's the point. All right. So, so Megan did get on Twitter and she basically called this a lie. You know, she didn't, um, encourage anything or I'll call it whatever. She said that was a lie. And then somebody said, no names were mentioned, but you were the first to respond. Oh baby, the shoe fits with this whole situation. And then she said, so this person didn't mention me or whatever. So somebody added Megan to talk about what was allegedly subbed about her so that's what she's talking about with that whole situation but let me play you the clip where nikki kind of goes into this a little bit more imagine telling someone you didn't want to drink you know because you were at the time possibly you know pregnant because you were actively you know trying to have a baby imagine if that person say oh girl you could go to the clinic imagine posting photos that you're pregnant and the person doesn't even like it'll say congratulations but then when you post that beyonce sent you flowers congratulating you the person then tries to attempt to send you flowers thinking that oh i can use this opportunity as i use everyone else she'll post that i sent her flowers i didn't even let them shit to my motherfucking house clown all right so what do y'all think about this whole situation there is a lot going on like i said so what do y'all think about the whole nikki and megan situation do y'all think that megan should respond we know that megan responds in her songs but do y'all think we're gonna get a little twitter rant from megan responding to this or not you know how do y'all feel about these other rappers who weren't on the Super Freaky Girl remix and the tweets that they're putting out there and everything? And Nikki is on Twitter very heavily right now. She is she had her tea time session on her radio show. So what do y'all think about this whole situation? Definitely let me know because I'm curious to find out. But let's end this on a more positive note because I was very excited to see 
that Flo Millie and Doja Cat linked up and Flo Millie posted a picture of them together, okay? Would y'all want a collaboration from these two? Because I could totally see them doing a bomb video together. The creativity would be out of this world because they're both so unique and different and have their style, different styles. I think if they collaborated, it would be fire. So would y'all be here for Flo Millie and Doja Cat collabing? Let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.